I love anything that smells damp. Minky and Pinky. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Lauren, nice to meet you. Um, today I am going to film a, just a chilled Sunday, follow me around. I'm going to do some cleaning. I've got a mini white company haul. So if you're interested in seeing that, please keep watching. I'm having a bit of like a meh day today. It's Sunday, so I've decided I've got no plans. So I thought I'm gonna do what makes me happy and what I enjoy. So today I'm going to clean <laughs> because I love cleaning. I just love the fact that you kind of clean everything down. It just looks so good and so fresh, it smells nice. I don't know, for some people it might be going shopping, for some people it might be going out with their friends, but for me, it's staying in and cleaning. So I thought I would just show you some of my tips and tricks for cleaning, very much Mrs. Hinch style. I cannot take credit for any of these things. Um, I love her, I watch her all the time. So that's how I tend to clean my home. So that's what we're gonna do today. First off is to put the washing on. So I'm gonna do that next, but just, Side note, my hair is still wet at the moment. Um, I washed my hair this morning. I put some makeup on to try and make me feel better. And I did a purple shampoo, but I find that purple shampoos dry my hair out quite a lot. And I just wanted to show you, I use this leave-in hair treatment and I tend to, like I've done, put it in my hair wet and then let my hair air dry because it really sort of absorbs it and takes it all in. This, I think, is only sold in salons. Um, I picked this up from my hairdressers, but it's a, obviously it's a unique one Revlon hair treatment and it has 10 real benefits. Um, repair for dry and damaged hair, shine and frizz control, heat protection, silkiness and smoothness, hair colour protection from the UV, we love that, easier brushing and ironing, incredible detangling, that's true, long lasting hairstyle, split ends prevention and adds body. So it does everything and it's generally, why do my hands look so white? Um, it's generally really, really good. I love it. I use it every time I wash my hair and it smells amazing. It's so, so nice. So if your hairdressers sell these, I'd recommend it. I think this cost me 12 pounds, but it lasts me a really long time. It's um, 150 mil, but really, really good. Anyway, I'm gonna put the washing on. So my essentials are always Persil Non-Bio, Lenore Spring Awakening, obviously and the Unstoppables. They are, without a doubt, so underrated. Love them, but absolutely love them. Makes such a difference, makes everything smell so fresh, especially when you have a clean and fresh washing machine. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the bathroom. As you can see, it's an absolute mess. You wouldn't know close up, but like it's, there's soap scum, there's marks. So I need to give it a good old clean. So I'm gonna take everything out of the bathroom first, completely gut it and empty it, put that all out in the hallway. And then I always start by hoovering the floor first, purely because the floor tends to get wet and I don't like to hoover it when it's wet. Okay, so I get all of the products out that I know I wanna use. So they're out, ready and laid out. I've obviously got my gloves. Sif wipes, love the smell of these. <laughs> um, I'll show you how I use those. Flash bathroom, mold and mildew, pink stuff for any tough stains, bleach, Zaflora, window cleaner, and um, flash bathroom. I use that in the bath. So let's get going. Okay, so let's get going. Excuse the setup. So the first thing I always do is anything I want to leave for a long time. So bleach, always start with bleach because then I can leave it to marinate, I suppose. I always put bleach on my toilet roll flusher. I watched something on TV. I don't know who it was. It was this lady that was helping somebody with cleaning their houses. And she basically said that Obviously, there's loads of bacteria and germs that build up in these areas, and you should actually leave bleach on it overnight. I don't tend to do it overnight, but I just put enough to fill the flusher, and then just leave that on there to kill any bacteria. So that's what I do first. And then I also use first my mold and mildew blaster on anything like taps, seams of stuff, anything that has a buildup of mold and mildew, etc. So I'll spray that on my taps, around my sink, you want to open a window when you spray this because it's quite strong. Um, I basically spray it over everything. So a little bit of that over everywhere just to get rid of any of that sort of thing. And obviously open the window because we need some air in here. So that's that. And then I tend to leave that to marinate for a little bit. And then what I also do is take the toothbrushes and toothpaste out of the little toothbrush holder and I put bleach in this as well, just to get rid of any germs and bacteria in it. So a little bit of bleach in there. 
and I just put a little bit of water in it for it to soak. And that's the start. And then I just wipe over all of that stuff that I've just sprayed just to clean all of that over because it does not smell that good, but it's such a good product. Okay, so for the bath, I will take my flash bathroom, nice big bottle, got that in like, I don't know, Poundland or somewhere, and just, I'm not as good at, at this as Mrs. Hinch, but fill the bath with that. And take my wet minky. Just scrub, oh, excuse the trains. Scrub the bathtub down with that. Okay, so the hair's gone up. We know it gets serious from the cleaner when the hair goes up. Okay, so I've scrubbed the bath down with the flash bathroom and I'm just leaving that to marinate because I love to do that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is the uh, screen. So I just take that out. I use my bical at the bottom. I don't have my bical. So you know at the bottom of your screen, you can get like that build up comes from the water, especially when you have really hard water and I do here. So I leave that to soak on the bottom and then I take my flash bathroom spray and spray the screen. And then that's going to get rid of all the soap scum on your screen. Again, with my minky on the rough side, just scrub all of that over the windscreen. toothbrush which I then scrub where I put Vicar and stuff to really lift the dirt and it really does work. I scrub all around the bottoms of the tap that off okay then to take off all the soap scam i use the minky because i find it just absorbs the soap so much better so i just glide that all over just to get rid of the excess soapiness on the other side so satisfying so satisfying and then I let that dry down a little bit because there's always bits that you miss. So I'll get off on the last bits of the soap scum in a minute. I don't think I'm gonna need pink stuff today, but I use Sif to clean my sink purely because I love the smell. So I'm just gonna clean these bits out of the sink. Over the sink, and then we take your minky and just scrub everything with that. It smells so nice. I love the smell of sip. Like, I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, granted, I don't have the loveliest bathroom. Please don't think that I think my bathroom was perfect. I've lived here for six years. Um, I bought my flat when I was in my mid-twenties, and obviously I've never really had the money to redo anything. Um, but obviously, again, if you watch my first vlog, you know that I want to move. And when I move, I hope to have a lovely, beautiful bathroom. So that's the goal. And don't forget to do the underneath of your sink because that often gets sort of like a build up of stuff that just spills over the edges of the sink. Let's give that a good wipe. Just wipe everything with sip because I love it. The cupboard, the side of the cupboard, just everything. 
And then I'll use my pinky again to rinse it all off because it picks up the soap. It's done quite well. I'll take a little bit of water over it, but nothing crazy. Just take my pinky. God, this is not a flat angle, is it? And then I just soak up and wipe off everything that's built up on there. This is more like a real clean with me because when Mrs. Hinch does it, it looks like in five minutes she's got it perfect. It's definitely not the reality, but there we go. Oh, oh, oh. And then to finish off my sink area, I'm going to empty the bleachy tap, the bleachy tap, the bleachy tube for my shoulder. Rinse that all out so it's nice and dry. And then just leave that to dry out for a second. Just put it upside down on here. Oh, it's a little one in there. So that's going to dry out. I think I've got most of the soap scum off, this it looks like. Just give it a nice once over. Wipe off your bike out. Oh, beautiful. And then I'm just going to do the one side of the bath with the shower head. Um, just to rinse all of that away. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this lighting, um, but just wipe over the sides of the bath, get rid of any excess water, etc. Just need to get rid of any excess everywhere else. Just make sure you've got everything clean and nice. Beautiful. And then, it's a glass cleaner here with the fibre cloth and just bust buff it out, it dries it off and just buffs out anything that you don't want on there. It's not my favourite part, I love having a really clean shower, shield or whatever they're called. I don't know what the sound's going to be like on this, I'm sorry if it's a bit loud. Oh, it's all like doing this cleaning, isn't it? I feel wicked. Cool, so I'd say that's the bath done. Obviously I've still got bleach on the toilet. I'm not going to show you me cleaning my toilet because I don't think anyone really wants to see that. But basically, I go over it with the SIF wipes and then obviously put bleach in the bottom and leave that in there for the day. So I'm going to do that quickly. And then everything I've cleaned with, I'm washing the washing machine today. So everything I've cleaned with, the minky, the pinky, etc. I just put into the washing machine. I've got to reuse these things, so I put that in there. I put a drop of Sulflora in each plug hole. Because it just makes for a nice smell. You can put these down the toilet as well because I've bleached it. I don't, but it gives off a nice smell and just disinfects those. Then all I need to do is clean the floor. And then all I do to clean my floor is use my Vileda spray mop. It's got a diluted, there's a floor in there with water. And we just spritz the floor. Give it a little once over. And then obviously this disinfects anything that we don't want on our floors. And then again with this, I'll just put the mop head into the wash when I clean the washing machine. And that is it. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen. This hair, I can't even deal, but anyway. Um, washing is done. Washing is done. It smells so good. I have this really weird thing. I love anything that smells damp. Is that is that is there anyone else? I've never met anyone else that feels like that. 
the smell of like damp fresh towels or just anything damp I really like but anyway I'm gonna hang these up to air dry but what I do um when I take anything out of the wash this needs refilling I have a dilution of Lenore and water and then I also just spritz everything once it's hung up because it just gives it that extra fresh smell and with your bedding if you do it with your bedding it helps pull out the creases so another top tip Okay, so I felt like, slash feel like, me cleaning my bathroom and putting the washing on is already probably going to be a too long a vlog. So what I've decided is I will put this in a vlog along with my white company stuff. And I can do a separate video on like cleaning your washing machine and stuff like that. I'm going to do it today anyway, so I'll film it. And if it's of interest, you can let me know. Because there's so many people that don't know about cleaning your washing machine. So happy to make a video on that as well. Um, so very quickly, white company, I made an order because they had 10% off a little while ago. I don't know whether it's still on the website or not. Um, and I just ordered a few bits. So it came all nicely boxed up, as always, from the White Company. Love it. I bought um, Wild Blackberry soap and hand cream. So this is Blackberry rhubarb and grapefruit hand and nail gift set. But again, because I'm looking to sell my flat, I wanted to get some nice pieces to put in the bathroom, etc. Um, so I've just cleaned it all fresh and now I know I can put all my fresh new bits out. If for a gift, I would love this as a gift really nice gifts and they're affordable for just something really nice and something special for someone to have in their bathroom so that is my soap and they look so nice don't they that is my soap and that is my new hand cream so i'm really happy with those i ordered a new bath mat oh my god how nice is this let's open this up love this new bath mat love it that is the, oh God, Antibs bath mat, white, medium. I'll link it below. But I love that, love the texture. But this is literally gonna be my for good. You know, so when someone's coming around to view the flat, the nice bits will come out. So that's that. And then I also ordered a new hand towel and a new bath towel, because again, they had 10% off those. <gasps> oh, they're so soft. I've never bought towels from the white company. I'm not gonna put that near my face because I'll get makeup on it. But that was my new hand towel, perfectly white and crisp. And then I obviously got the same, a nice new bath towel as well. So I'll link everything below if you're interested. Yeah, I'm going to end that vlog here. I hope you enjoyed. Not sure what you feel about it, but it's just what I do. When I'm having a bit of a naff day, I just like to do cleaning and make the bathroom look all nice. I'll show you the bathroom now it's finished. Everything's dried off. I've put everything back in. So I'll give you a little before and after. for watching lots of love hope you're well and uh have a brilliant week bye